Hello and welcome everyone to this tutorial about how to simulate glitch mechanism in SOLIDWORKS. Here is Henny Jiga Mechatronic Engineer. So welcome to this last uh, part of the tutorial. Uh, last time we assembled all the parts together. We just need to correct some uh, parameters before we begin the simulation. So we select the receiver disk and we're gonna collect some uh, distance mate here, distance to edit feature and we need to increase it uh, to 25. Okay, it's good. Maybe too much. 20. Only 20. Okay, and we click OK. Now our system is complete. We need to uh, add a final constraint to the swinging movement of the motor shaft. So we need to put the maximum and the minimum. The maximum uh, is a distance that, uh, uh, in order to allow the uh, motor shaft to touch the receiver shaft, like this. Okay, we can measure it. It's about 32.7. So we go in uh, assembly mate and we go to advanced mate. We have a range of uh, distance here. We can put uh, something like uh, 10. Or, uh, and we need to indicate that it's about this distance and this one maybe a little less 34.7 okay the maximum is 34 the minimum is about 10 okay we click ok and now we can see that uh, it uh, is now constrained and the range is uh, about uh, 25 uh, millimeters but uh, the maximum that uh, where can it goes so we save we choose to rebuild and then we go in motion study we need to lower this bar and there we choose motion analysis if you don't have this uh, motion analysis you can add it here add-ins and you select uh, solidworks motion if you don't have it in the list you need to install it uh, you need to check uh, my video about how to add this uh, SOLIDWORKS motion to SOLIDWORKS ok uh, now what we need to do we zoom in a little bit we need to add friction between this shaft and the chassis uh, because we're gonna create a force that will press the motor shaft against the receiver shaft To create the uh, pressing force, uh, we need to add friction so the force will not be too high. So to add friction we click in contact here. We use uh, a group contact. We select the motor shaft and in the second box we select the chassis and uh, we need to increase the uh, friction 
coefficient so we uh, select like dry steel acrylic and dry steel okay our friction is created now we need to add the force we click on force here uh, we select the motor shaft is the part that uh, gonna be moved and for our direction the second box here we select an edge that is in the same direction as the force for example this one and uh, for force intensity I'm gonna first choose a step okay at zero uh, second the force is uh, zero at uh, let's say four second the force will be around uh, 0 0.2 newton okay our force is created we're gonna delay the force a little bit in time so we place a key and then we click off so the force is gonna be activated uh, at one second after the delay that we have created now we choose to calculate the simulation using this button good mm, we can play it another time ok good If you like, we can uh, decrease a little bit more the force. Just like 0 0.1 Newton. Okay. good and now we need to simulate the uh, rotational uh, mo movement so uh, first we're gonna need to zoom in a little bit but you have to know that if you zoom in you must lock the view because uh, as soon as the simulation starts uh, SOLIDWORKS will go back to the previous view so how are we gonna do that we go in orientation and camera view here we unselect disable view key creation uh, here the scope is open we zoom in a little bit and we translate the view to center the model like this and then we lock again and if you play you can see that uh, the zoom is uh, as we wanted it to be so you see here in the beginning of the simulation the receiver part is uh, not in motion is fixed so uh, we're gonna put the motor shaft in motion now we can do that we go in motor here and you select the part that is gonna spin we can invert the direction and we can choose a uh, rotation per minute speed rotation let's say 200 rpms okay so what is gonna happen the motor shaft is gonna spin in the beginning of the uh, simulation and the translating force of the chart is gonna come after uh, this little delay so the simulation is not complete but we gonna go step by step 
you can see first how the motor shaft is spinning okay it is spinning but the receiver shaft is not spinning yet why is that? because we did not create the uh, contact force uh, physical contact force between the motor shaft and the receiver shaft yet so how are we gonna do that? Uh, the same as we did for motor shaft and chassis we choose contact use group contact we select the motor shaft and the second box we select the receiver shaft and for friction we need to increase it a little bit maybe I put uh, rubber or steel let's say steel is ok good we have created a second friction function and now we simulate it's gonna take a little bit more time yes now you see that the uh, motor shaft is uh, making the receiver shaft spin only by friction and the speed of the uh, receiver shaft is increasing step by step there is begin to spin and uh, will be uh, the same speed as the motor shaft here we can unselect the uh, loop playback mode So here is how we simulate contact in SOLIDWORKS and how we use them to simulate me mechanical systems like clutches uh, that are used in mechanic. Thank you everybody for uh, uh, following and uh, uh, see you soon in another tutorial video. Thanks. Bye bye.